Hello. My name is <clears throat> Meg or Margaret Partridge, and I'm making this video simply because of all the things that have happened in the world or that are happening, the virus and the movements, and I believe that all of women that are abused should be able to get help, and I'm not getting any. There's so many women abused, and with COVID-19, I'm not too surprised, but the abuse continues, and I have no help whatsoever, and I don't know why no one will help me, but I've had everything taken from me by this man. I begged him to set off bombs. This is just the last straw part. He won't even buy bombs to set off. We have like trillions of fruit flies in the house and trillions in the garage because there's like a hundred bags of garbage out there and I'm they say I'm disabled I will be completely but I can stand and walk with determination but I have to stop every little bit because I have scoliosis and now I have 50 scar whatever wounds open wounds on my body my head, my ears, they go up my nose, they attack every part of me, and I don't know what to do about that, I don't have money, so the only food I get is if he buys some cheese and crackers or a pot pie or something, and I try to make it last for several days, um, my son's gone. He moved out. He's 18. He's getting his first apartment on Friday. That money's coming from the money I was supposed to get from, anyway, from my dad. But my stepmother sold our house. And my dad passed. She has all that. And my brother in. You know, people don't believe you when you're being abused, especially, like, he stole my car. When I had a flat tire, he had it towed to this remote place, and he got rid of it. And inside of it were things like my aunt Silver. I got from when my mom saw my dad's house. And pictures I had framed my whole life were in a box and my present, well, last present to my daddy before he passed. He passed on Martin Luther King Day, January 2011, and then my husband committed suicide October 24th, same year, 2011. So I can't get either one of them to help me or I wouldn't be here in the first place. My son's fine, he's never been hurt ever. Um, of course, you know, Mama Bears, we would never allow that. But he stole my Kate Spade glasses. He stole my medications. He stole, he goes through what little bit of clothes I keep in a chair that belongs to me. Goes through my pocketbook. Goes through my mail. Stole my mail. Medicaid changed my plan, thanks to Tom Tillis of North Carolina. I had the same plan for over 10 years. Now I have the family plan. I'm 57, I've had a hysterectomy, and all it covers is uh, contraception. This man has abused me in every way possible now. 
all of them, verbally, emotionally, psychologically, which to me have been worse than the physical. The physical is something you see coming, all the other stuff you don't, and until it's too late. I just want people to know that there are women out there that need help really bad. And I'm one of them. One of them. I'm sorry. I don't know what to do if anybody has any suggestions. I would welcome it. My phone number, I'm sure. I don't know if it would come up, but you can call me. Um, you can send me an email at megpartridge6 at gmail.com. Um, text me 919-673-3364. Uh, anything. Any advice. I mean, at this point, North Carolina sucks for helping people anyway. I went, I've left twice, and I've tried. I tried in April. I tried again at the end of June. I went to Duke Hospital. They sent me to another hospital because they thought I was in danger of committing suicide. Like, I would do that to my son after losing his father though. I just wouldn't do that. <laughs> nobody, nobody cares. And I don't understand. Somebody help me understand, please. Thank you. It's off, it's normal. Oh my gosh. It's too long to probably put out there if it's running. Oh my gosh, I hope I didn't waste the time or the, I can't hardly really use this phone anyway. Please, I pray all the time. Okay, bye.